Hello, and welcome to, well, I don't even know what I'm going to name this video. It'll probably be a favorites, so let's just say it's a favorites video. Uh, this is a, a run that I recently completed that I'm really hyped about, because I loved this series. It was a phenomenal read. It's probably, I mean, I would say it's one of my favorite series, you know, of all time. I mean, two of my favorite characters, Cable and Deadpool, and I just want to kind of showcase... You know, the, the run that I got. Start off with uh, the legendary Layfield cover where, you know, Cable and Deadpool are obviously there, but it's the, the crooked gun cover that everybody says, you know, late, such this is like kind of the epitome of Layfield's bad artwork. But uh, I respect Layfield. I don't think he's as bad as a lot of people say. Some of his stuff's terrible, and I don't know who he sold his soul to to get a lot of these books that he writes and draws by himself and how he does it. But either way, number one, right there. Also picked up the the Marvel number one reprint. Greatest comics reprint. Number two, second part of it, If Looks Could Kill, number two. Great cover there. Every one of these pretty much had great covers. Uh, there's number three. Number four. A lot of these first four covers looked pretty much the same. There's number five. Cable in a different type of garb there, just a just regular like wife beater. Number six, that plus my side blades there. Number seven, cable looking not a lot like cable. <laughs> Number eight, love this cover. This uh, this up here is actually it's kind of Cable's utopia. He actually keeps it up there with his own uh, telepathy. It's pretty crazy. Number nine. Great cover here. I believe I have a shirt that has that, that version of Deadpool on it. Number ten. I believe this is uh, Cable versus the Silver Surfer. Pretty great issue. Number eleven. This is where Domino comes in. And Domino has had romantic involvement with both Cable and Deadpool, so it was kind of kind of had to expect it. Number twelve, Agent X gets involved here, and I think Deadpool actually was Agent X at the beginning of his first his first uh, ongoing. I believe it turned into Agent X. I believe that was him. I don't know, but uh, this is when he enters into it. Second second part of the Thirty Pieces story. Uh, Cable and Deadpool number thirteen. Great cover here. Love the love the love the parody covers. Fourteen. This is when uh, Deadpool and Cable started fighting. I mean, they never really got along in the series, but they got along enough. And then their uh, Cable's body slide became messed up, so anytime he slid, he had uh, Deadpool came with him. So kind of you know worked out for everybody. Number fifteen. It's Deadpool over dead clowns, all dead, all killed. Great cover. Number 16, this is when a few members of uh, Cable's X-Force get involved. Number 17, this is uh, part of the House of M storyline, although it doesn't really have anything to do with it, but this is when they go back in time searching for Cable, who was lost in time, and Deadpool actually ends up finding a baby Cable and helping him. They go to a bunch of different like universes and find different Cables, so it's a fun storyline. And then here you have a teenage Cable. Holding on a Deadpool, you know, toy. Great cover there too. Great. This was a whole great uh, little story arc when they were looking for, looking for Cable in different universes. And then he actually, they find him, and then he actually ages, and that's why, you know, in the next couple issues, he just keeps aging from baby to teenager to, I don't know what he says, probably twenties or so. It's Deadpool in the bosom buddy storyline. This was a good. This was a good story arc of this too. Number 20, number 21, it's when uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist get involved, it's 22, this guy right here is pretty crazy, I can't remember his name offhand, but he's like an assassin, there's 23, 24, this is, I remember this, she's a good issue, it has uh, Deadpool versus Spider-Man. It, 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 it comes together weirdly, though. It, it really does. 25th issue, I believe 
Cable fights Captain America in here. And that's why. Great cover here with him holding Captain America's shield and his mask. Number uh, 26, Cable and Deadpool, Blood of, Blood of Apocalypse prequel, is when Apocalypse comes into play. Uh, number 27, again, Blood of Apocalypse prequel. 28, Domino involved again, gotta love Domino. 29, probably one of my favorite covers out of all of them, because when, as Domino is pointing the gun at Cable's head and his... His eye, it looks like he's, she's kind of shooting it, but it's just, you know, Cable's eye. Citizen V involved here. I'm not sure what version of Citizen V this is. I'm not sure if it's Baron Zemo or or uh, his son, Helmet. I'm not sure. It might even be a different one. It might be the actual Citizen V. I can't really remember. Uh, number 30. This has the, uh, I believe that's the, uh, I think it's the Great Lakes Avengers. I'm not sure, though. can't remember it offhand, but this is the Civil War. During the Civil War event, it's number 30. Number 31, still part of the Civil War. Oh, got two of those. 32. I've oh, got two of those also. 33. Back to the great Layfield covers. <laughs> I have to laugh because I just know how many people dislike it. Number 34. A whole lot of different characters getting involved now. 35, I believe this is the, if, if it isn't the issue, it's close to it, the one where Cable dies, I'm pretty sure it might have been the last one, or, or it might be this one, just telling by the cover, but love this cover too, so many great things we got on that cover, 36, great, great battle in here between Deadpool and Taskmaster, I just don't understand what's going on with Deadpool's mouth on this cover, it's one thing that kind of just gets me, but... Still great cover. Love Taskmaster. 37. Deadpool's fighting the Rhino in here. Good times. Makes me laugh every time. Rhino is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, so seeing him pop up in something else always makes me giggle. Uh, number 38. Nice cover here. This this is the this starts to become the kind of artwork for the covers from here on out. 39, got T-Ray there, yeah, great, great villain, yeah, well, that's what we need, a guy with a band-aid on his nose, 40, Cable on the cover again, I, it's been a while since I read a lot of these, so, you know, 41, different cover here, yeah, I mean, it's obviously Cable, but kind of, you know, portrayed differently there. 42, got Cable and Gambit on here, and uh, I can't remember that guy's name up there offhand, ran into him before, but not often, number 42, number 43, Wolverine comes in, at this point, Cable isn't even a part of the series, I believe, so, I mean, I like that cover, though, even though I'm not a fan of this art too much, I like that cover, Number 44, where it actually, they start to cross off Cable's name at the top. It says, you know, Wolverine and Deadpool. It almost becomes a team-up book. And then 45 is Captain America and Deadpool. Oh, that looks a lot like Bucky to me. <laughs> I can't really remember what happens in this book, but seeing that he has the, the ears up there and his, his Deadpool Captain America thing makes me laugh. 46, which is Fantastic Four and Deadpool. Wonderful cover here, and this is probably one of the only instances where I like the normal cover more than the variant, and I mean, because you just got, you know, it reminds me of a, I think it's a, it might be a team-up issue, or it might be a Deadpool core issue where he's taking a bath and the Watcher's like watching over him, I love that, that cover too, but there's the uh, regular cover, and there's 46 zombie variant cover, pretty cool looking cover there. 47, which is Doctor Strange and Deadpool. At this point, it kind of seems like, at least in this book, I remember, it kind of seems like they're stretching for a story. 48, Brother Voodoo and Deadpool. At this point, they're kind of just throwing any character they want in and seeing if it's going to work. <laughs> 49, Kazar and Zabu and Deadpool. Now, although I'm a fan of Kazar and Zabu, this threw me off a little bit. And the final issue, which was 50. 
And I mean, I'm just so stoked about this run. It's probably one of my favorite, you know, runs of all time. And uh, I, I believe there's only like one issue that I don't have, and I think it's it was like a giveaway. It was like a reprint giveaway of like number 42 or something. But if anybody knows of any that I don't have, or if there's any more variants, because I thought there was only that one, that one zombie variant, I'm not sure though. So if anybody knows if there's any more involved with this series that I don't have, please let me know because I need them. But uh, I just thought I'd showcase that, and I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So just remember, have a great day.